welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shalia, known to some as the Visionpreneur, and I'm your passive income specialist and business strategist showing you how to create multiple passive income streams in many different forms, because passive income equals time freedom. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create crossword puzzles using Crossword Labs and Canva, either for personal use or to sell for profit. So crossword puzzles are not just a fun pastime, they're a great way to challenge your brain, improve your vocabulary, and they can even be a fantastic educational tool. Plus, believe it or not, they can be, they can be a source of income. Whether you're a teacher creating custom puzzles for your classroom, a hobbyist looking to share your passion, or an entrepreneur aiming to tap into the puzzle market, the process is simpler than you might think. So here's what we're going to cover today. Number one, designing your puzzle. We'll start by jumping into Crossword Labs, an amazing online tool that makes it super simple to create your own crossword puzzles. I'll guide you through selecting your words, writing your clues that are both challenging and fair, and how to structure your puzzle for the best user experience. Number two, we'll be talking about stylizing your puzzle. Once we have the basics down, we'll take our creation over to Canva, and this is where your puzzle will really come to life. Canva is a user-friendly graphic design platform that will allow us to add that professional touch. You'll learn how to choose fonts, colors, and add decorative elements to make your puzzle really visually appealing. Number three, we'll talk about monetizing your puzzle. After our puzzle looks great, it's time to talk about how to monetize it. I'll walk you through different strategies for selling your puzzles, from creating books of puzzles to sell on Amazon, to offering custom puzzles on Etsy. Creating a crossword puzzle can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. You can go for a traditional approach with standard square grids, or you can get creative with unique shapes and themes. The key is to add value for the person solving the puzzle. It could be through the satisfaction of the challenge, the humor in the clues, or the novelty of the design. And if you're thinking about selling your puzzles, remember quality is key. You'll want to test your puzzles thoroughly to make sure they are solvable and error free. So get some friends or family members to try them out or even better, build a community around your puzzles and get feedback from your audience. In just a moment, I'm gonna switch over to Crossword Labs and show you exactly how to create a crossword puzzle from start to finish. We'll brainstorm a theme together, enter our words into Crossword Labs, and then polish our design in Canva. By the end of this video, you'll have all the tools you need to create and monetize your own crossword puzzles. So if you're ready to turn your love for words into a potential income stream, smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed and let's get started on this puzzle making journey. So let's head on over to Crossword Labs. This is what the platform looks like. Um, it's very, very simple. Um, so if you're ready, let's dive in. So the first thing we're going to do is think about a theme that we want to have for our crossword puzzle. So I'm gonna go to my trusty um, sidekick, ChatGDP, and I've already typed in, can you give me some crossword puzzle ideas? Um, so they have given me world capitals, famous authors, science and nature, movies and enter entertainment, histor historical events, food and cuisine, sports and leisure, music and musicians, technology and innovation, and the list goes on. So um, you can choose from one of these or you can ask them to give you even more um, ideas if you don't like any of these. Um, but I think that this serves as a great starting point. So we can ask ChatGTP um, to, let's do music and musicians. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it in the message. I'm gonna say, can you create me some questions and answers for this topic as a crossword, crossword puzzle. So we're gonna wait for them to generate it and it's giving us some pretty good answers, questions and answers. So we're gonna wait for it to generate and then we're gonna bring these questions and answers over to Crossword Labs. So it's probably gonna give us about 20, I'm guessing. 20 questions and answers, which is good. Okay, 18, that's good enough. Um, if you want to do it in even 20, you can ask them to give you two more. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of the questions and answers. Hopefully it works this way. 
we go over the crossword labs if we're going to paste them in here and the crossword puzzle title is music and musicians so let's see if it gives it to us this way if not then we have to do it all over again okay this is a lot okay so I've changed the layout this is the final layout of everything and if you like what it has generated then you can click share or print and you can share it with the URL you can share you can embed it or you can um, export it you can print PDF SVG PNG so we're gonna click let's do PNG so it saves it as a PNG um, and then you also have the option to show the answers as well. So if you don't want to show the answers, you unclick and then you can show the word bank as well. Um, and then click update. So let's go over to Canva and let's create a document. Oh, no, no, not a document. Let's create a, we need eight and a half by 11. So I'm just gonna click the media kit one because it's eight and a half by 11. So we can click upload. And this is how it comes out as a PNG. Okay, so that is our first part. So now we have the task of copying and pasting the across and the down. So this is gonna be the across section. So let's go back over to Canva. Let's hit text, add a text box, and we're going to make this 12 size. I'm going to make the page bigger so that I can see what I'm actually doing. And we're going to make this even smaller. Okay, so make sure that it fits on the page and that you have space for the down side. So I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to copy all of that and I'm going to go back over to Crossword Labs and we're going to copy the downside and paste it into, into uh, Canva. So it looks like this side's a little bit, a little bit longer. So we're going to add another text box and click and type in down. here but change it to across and there you have your puzzle oh we need it we need the um the heading so music and musicians was our title and we're gonna make that a little bit bigger and we can also add some elements in here notes around the puzzle and let's add in this and make it a bigger actually and there we have it this looks this is coming along pretty good so this is the full page of what it would look like and you can always change the font if you want to. Here are the fonts on the side. You can change the size of the font, make it bold, change the color. So if you want the font to be pink, um, you can change that as well. And some of the music notes, you can make those different colors as well um, if, if, they're, if, if they allow you to. And just, you know, make it your own. And you can also add, you know, a website at the bottom or, you know, your, your company name or whatever it is that you want to do. So this is the finished products. I actually don't like the music notes pink, so I'm gonna change them back to black. Um, and then you would just repeat the process for the next page and do another crossword puzzle. Um, it is very time consuming, just to let you know. Um, so, you know, it is gonna take some time to do all the, the different puzzles and stuff like that. Um, 
So, you know, just make sure that you have, you're sticking with your theme and you're sticking with, you know, what, what kind of puzzle, crossword puzzle that you actually want to make. So once you've compiled enough pages for Amazon KDP, then you would go over to Amazon and you, or Amazon KDP and upload your manuscript and your cover and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, you know, you could sell these on Amazon KDP. You can also go over on, go over to Etsy and you could sell them on Etsy as well. Let's go to crossword puzzles. And yes, you can sell them digitally. You don't have to sell them in a book. You can sell them digitally on Etsy. And um, they have a lot of different types. Like they have a Valentine's one here. And then they have a wedding one here, which is really cute. That's a really That was a really good idea. Um, but there are so many different topics and so many different themes that you can do with these crossword puzzles. Um, and as you can see, they sell for about $3 per, two or $3 per, um, per puzzle. So that's pretty, that's pretty good, um, for one sheet of paper. So yeah, this is, this, that's, that's how you would sell them on Etsy. And then we're going to go on, we'll go on over to Amazon and see what, what it's looking like over there. So yeah, crossword puzzles are a pretty big hit. Over here, they have pretty basic ones. Um, they have baseball, movies and TV, um, hits of Monday, golf. So as you can see, you can get some ideas if you want from the types of crossword puzzles that are selling um, and then add in your own unique flair to it. So don't forget to proofread your puzzles, maybe add solutions in the back of your book that add value. Um, and just like that, you've turned your love for puzzles into a potential income stream. It's a process of creativity and strategy, and it's all about providing value and enjoyment to your customers. So if you have enjoyed this tutorial and you're ready to start crafting your own puzzles, let me know in the comments, share your progress, ask questions, and let's support each other in this creative hustle. But before you go, make sure you hit that like button if you're excited to try this out and subscribe if you haven't already. There's a lot more where this came from and I can't wait to share it with you. Until next time, keep on puzzling and keep on thriving. I'm Shalia, your visionpreneur, signing off. Go make today amazing and thank you for watching.